Hello guys, this is Flamebird Studios and I will be showing you how to do a tutorial on this frozen in time effect that I did. Um, some people requested a tutorial um, over here, that would be a great Christmas present. So here it is, this is what we'll be making. So as you can see, um, it looks like everything's frozen in time. There are rocks, some flares, because um, yeah, there's definitely rocks in a room. So yeah. Let's start. So let's make a new composition from a video file. Just take it and drag it in. I do this button, and you will see there's the video. So make sure your actor person is not moving, or moving, um, like, not moving at all. So let's crop it. Now you will need to motion track this clip and if you're in After Effects CS6 it already has a motion tracker if you go into um, the tracker there will be track camera but since I'm using CS5 I'm using um, the Foundry's camera tracker which is the best camera tracker that you can have in After Effects so here's my clip all you have to do is just click track features and it's gonna go through and track these features I will probably speed up or crop this part just so the tutorial will be faster so we are almost done there's just a few, fra few frames left so there we go it tracked um, all the features now you have to click solve camera this will be pretty quick there you go and over here total RMS projection errors it tells you how many pixels it would be off during the video which is if it's like around two or less it's totally fine so don't worry about it so there you go now it tracked all the, uh, now it solved the camera so it knows the camera motion and as you can see you can see these red um, red ones you can delete them if you want it to make um, to make this more accurate but you don't have to you can just delete a few it would be fine you'll live with it so then just click create scene and what that will do that will make um, a null object and a camera object a camera so now as you can see there's a null right here in 3d space so if you were just get if you were to make like random text and say hello and make it 3D, it would it would like be in 3D space right here. So that's pretty much the tutorial, but obviously I'm not gonna stop it here. So what I did, I made a new light, a new light. That's for the flare. So I'm gonna call that flare and check made the position be on zero in z space so it would be right here and then just positioned it to be to look like it was connected that's too far back so let's come over here that's still too far um, a little closer. That is perfect. That is the uh, position in Z space where it has to be. Now I just gotta move it over to the center because that's where I want it to happen. Then I just make a new solid, make it black but it actually doesn't matter. I'll call this flare. Also, go to effect, video copilot, optical flares, choose track lights, so it will choose that light. Um, click toggle switches to set it to add mode and just change the flare.
Here's something nice. I like the monster flare. And just let's make the scale smaller just so it won't be too large. You can see over here now we have a flare that is stuck to the gun. Um, next, which is the point of the tutorial, the 3D objects in space. First, let's save the project just so, you know, in case if your computer crashes, you don't want everything going to waste and then freaking out. So, make a new solid, and I'll call this element, because you're going to be using element, video co-pilots, element, which is a really good product. I suggest you buy it for the price. It's amazing. So, let's go to scene setup, and select something over here in starter pack. It gives you a rock. So let's select this rock, and I want to see the environment just just because I do. So as you can see, this rock looks pretty nice. Let's turn off the draft textures. But I do want to make some corrections to it uh, because I don't like everything about it. So what I want to do is the bump. I want to bring it up because I actually want it to be more like rocky. I don't know how I would explain it. So, as you can see, there's like a difference right here. Also, this the specular. I want to bring it just a little bit down. So, over here. And it's going to be way too big for our scene at first. Right here. As you can see, it's way too huge. Oh, actually, no. I don't want to bring the bump too much. Because then it's going to make it look all weird. Okay, so um, now go to Particle Replicator, and I just want to have like five, five of them for now. You can't see the difference right now. Um, then I'm going to go to Particle Look, and obviously it is way too big. So let's scale this down. And right now you see it's black, but don't worry about it. You'll change it in a second. So there you go. Now, because I have five, they're all just overlapping, so let's just go to scatter, X, Y, and Z, and that would scatter the rocks. Um, and as you can see, uh, they're black, but they have outlines because it's using the light from, from the flare as the light to, you know, cast the light on the rocks. So, right now they're all just, just black to us, so don't worry about it for now. We will change it. So, as you can see right here, it's already looking pretty nice because they are tracked right here. Now, I do want to put the flare on the top so it would overlap because that's what happens kind of in the camera. The flare is on the top. Um, now, because in my room I actually have a window right here and you can tell from the light um, from how much light there is in here I will need to place a new flare uh, well a new light so I'm just gonna duplicate this flare but I will call this um, B actually I need to rename the flare on the gun to A and when you go into the flare um, choose name starts with A um, that way, it will only use that flare. Uh, it will only lose. Uh, it was. It would only use lights A to cast that flare because you don't want that flare happening from the window too. Um, so then I just take this other light and I move it, and then I want to make sure it fits with the camera movements. And obviously, right now it doesn't. So let's go to the position and actually zero should be fine for where the window is. Actually no. no. Move it more. Can't even see what's happening. Right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now you can see on the rocks, uh the rocks are more visible now but the colors that are coming 
uh, from the window. They're not cold colors because the sun is like, you know, yellow. So let's go and choose a warmer tint. And as you can see, it will give the rocks like different color. Uh, now I just want to go again and just make this a little different. There you go, that looks pretty nice. Um, but I want to make the rocks a little bit smaller again. So, 0 0.4. 4 looks nice. 0.3 maybe. Yeah. Um, so now I just want to make more like 15 and just spread them out. So yeah, that is pretty much how how you make this effect. Um, and then obviously I put color correction everywhere. So make a new null object. I mean adjustment layer. Looks magic bullet looks and edit. And I just start with a preset. Um, I usually start with epic. And then I just add my own stuff to it. Let's see. And some vignetting. Um, what else? I usually use um, grad exposure and brighten up the top more than the bottom. So that looks pretty nice. Then I use a new solid. I make it black. I put a mask on it. Then I extend rights and lefts. And then I make subtract, choose subtract for the mask and um, expand it in. So that way you could fake the aspect ratio. You could actually, you know, find out what the real aspect ratio is and do it that way, but I'm usually too lazy to do that so that's just me and if you want you can also add a flare to the window so as you can see there's B so now you can just make a new element so just duplicate this um, and oh not element whoa sorry flare flare you don't want another element and then choose B and now you can choose a completely different flare so if you want something warm, I'd use like sector or whatever this is. And then I just bring the scale up. Also what is nice is flickering. I do choose flickering sometimes. So I choose the speed, this, and then a random seed. So now you can see this looks really nice. And you don't have to use rocks, like for whatever project you can do, you can make it like a floating iPhone in the air, like frozen, like pretending to throw it or something. Like you could just go in and change it right now. So instead of, so yeah, I have like a helicopter in here, but um, let's say you want to use a co Coke, a can of Coke. So here you go, you got some floating Cokes and some rocks, you know. Oh, 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 sorry, I forgot about something. So, okay, I'm just going to delete this soda can. All the rocks right now are, like, pointing in the same direction. That is, that's, like, one in a million chance. In, in case of time will freeze, no rock will look the same. And over here, you can see, they all pretty much look exactly the same. So, what you need to do is you need to go to rotation. Um, there's supposed to be a random rotation, I think. Um... Let's take a look. Rotation. I think this is going to affect random ones, right? Yeah, yeah, this one's random. So just change the rotation so all rocks are not going to be pointing in the same direction. Um, let's see what else is in here. So yeah, you can just play around with settings now. Um, so there you go. I think this looks pretty nice. You could preview it if you want to. 
So that's pretty much that tutorial. Um, you could leave uh, leave this video. No, um, you could leave uh, video responses with what uh, you accomplished with using this technique of time freeze. Um, I would really like to see what what kind of work you guys did. So yeah, as you can see, this looks very nice. I will be doing more videos. Sorry for this like long no video making. I was actually making another video not that long ago. I haven't had the chance to upload it yet. Plus, I'm making another film. Um, this one's going to be much better, and it will actually have talking this time. So, yeah. Uh, please subscribe, like this video, and it would really help me a lot. So, yeah. Comment if you have any questions or if you have any problems. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.